I will, but we got to start with a greeting here. Uh, hey, hey, this is your boy, JJ. Hi, everybody. It's Heather. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready to watch some slapped ham. It's like one of the better ones. Uh, Heather's going to look away, I guess, at the start. I don't mind yeah, watching Yeah, you can look away. I don't know if it's going to show a bunch of stuff, so. Okay. Hide my eyes. Hide it my always eyes. does. Yeah, so there's a preview or something. Ah. Hold on. It's almost there. How you doing? Oh, Alan, and this the is bald guy's hand. there, so you know yeah, it's okay. So if you need to do this home, just close your eyes and tell you hear a slap hand talk. Hit that subscribe button and get ready. That's good advice. Good content. advice. Like Rub his bald head for luck. Uh, oh yeah, make sure to go over there, subscribe, this like, footage was captured by you know, neighborhood the norms. Overlooking a quiet suburban street. Take a look. Oh, it's birds. Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought it was a tree falling. Yeah. The clip, which aired on Fox 10 Phoenix, shows oh, an enormous flock of birds descending on a street in the northwestern state of Chihuahua in Mexico. Hmm. Okay. Right, you got the plot. Identified as... Okay, so around here, that happens quite a lot. Like, there's these big oak trees where we live, and these big flocks of birds will just be all over the oak trees. Mm -hmm. They just happen to get it right at the angle when they're landing. Mm -hmm. So, they just got the, lucky and got the perfect angle. It's Hitchcock come to life. There's orcas attacking ships, birds attacking humans. If it's anyone knows world. anything about the orca thing, please mm -hmm. let us know. Cause She'll Google it at some point. Don't worry about commenting. I don't know what's going on. Yellow-headed blackbirds. Initial reports said toxic fumes from a malfunctioning heater may have caused the birds to suddenly crash to the ground. However, some veterinarians suggested a bird of prey may have spooked them into performing the unusual maneuver. Oh, okay. But ultimately, no one knows for certain why this bizarre event actually happened. That's nice looking. Oh, oh my goodness. What? It's like this. This eerie photo has been haunting the internet for decades now, but it's well worth revisiting. It's a shot of a man sleeping on a tombstone. Mm. Who the fuck sleeps on a tombstone? A well, it doesn't figure. look like he's sleeping. If you look at his eyes, like it wearing open. a hood looking down on the sleeping man. It looks like he's just laying there. For years, there. debunkers have tried their best with this image, but no solid explanations have ever been put forth. It was taken on film. Hey, the only thing that was supposed to be on top of it is Hey, I don't want to hear it. None of us want to hear it. Some have said it could just be a mist creating Does a parabolic have any effect. Things? But given the very specific shape, it's quite unlikely. Like Lena Quigley For years, dancing. For paranormal enthusiasts have claimed that this is a stuff. genuine ghost caught on camera. A spirit that isn't taking too kindly to a man sleeping on their That's grave. like the most uncomfortable thing. But as always, I'll throw They're this probably out to doing the an investigation. Yeah. There's some What's backstory to Let this. In the comments. I, hope, I hope so. And they're like, well, you do it. Yeah. I dare you to do it. What is well, we're not. He said he needs new sneakers. Yeah, he needs new sneakers. That's what I said before I went to commercial and shit. So, what do you think? Real? It looked pretty convincing. I mean, I thought well, maybe it's like a double exposure. Like he was laying in the process of laying down. It caught his shoulder or something. Mm -hmm. But it's not matching up. Mm -hmm. I think it's pink. Oh my god! Right. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. This next piece of mysterious footage has left the Reddit community debating whether a real alien ship has been spotted flying past an aircraft. Watch. The footage, Wait, which was shared to Reddit again. by user Board Geek 1996, shows an unidentified black object flying by at mm. great speed. It's gonna slow it down. The mysterious metallic ball was spotted by a glider pilot during an afternoon flight. The pilot said he spotted the object speeding towards him and initially thought it may have just been a balloon. 
is the object color adjusted? I don't know. Now here's the same image upscaled. Thought it had teeth. These or images something. reveal a dark, shiny object with a white shape on top. When these scaled versions were released to the community, a lot of people immediately agreed that it looks just like a star-shaped balloon, and that its apparent speed is a trick of perspective caused by the glider zooming by. However, a fair contingent of viewers weren't convinced by this theory, saying it's far more mysterious than just a balloon. They claim it could be a piece of secret military tech, or even something extraterrestrial. Given that the sighting's been so divisive, I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers, for final judgment. What do you think this strange object is? Is it just a balloon, or are we looking at something a little more mysterious? Let me know down below. Okay, since I don't see any propulsion trail behind it, I'm going to go with it's just a helium balloon. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, totally, I'm totally okay with it being real. Uh, there are aliens. Or, well, do you what, think it's real, though? Yeah, I think it's real. Why? Why do you think that's real? The video was nice. It was upscaled. He did a bunch of stuff. But I, I can identify it. So I think it's real. <laughs> like, I give a See, good explanation why I don't think it's a UFO. Because it would have some kind of propulsion trail behind it as it's going. Maybe it's using anti-gravity. Maybe there's no maybe there's no trail. Why? <laughs> um, all right, you know, we're being visited by something, okay? Just so we're all aware, there's military aircraft, you know, with hugely expensive devices tracking speed and that the object exists and exactly what it's doing. Now, what are those objects from? Space. Another dimension. Heather loves dimensions. Time travel could be time travel. Could be lots of things. That is a but damn balloon. Totally possible. So yeah, I believe it. Ready to the next? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like how you upscaled the image. That was very nice. I like to I like to see slap ham going the extra mile. If this guy is piloting a glider, why is he looking all down and with a camera and all this stuff? Yeah. It's like it's like uh sticking with mysterious driving in, in the scum. Tennessee and the girl's just sitting there talking to your mom and she's like just staring off at your mom and stuff and it's like cliffs all around us we could die at any moment. Know. Why is she why is she not looking at the road? Don't know. Come on. Hi, this next one has left witnesses confused and alarmed at the prospect of aliens monitoring Earth. In late December 2022, several witnesses in West Bend and Fredonia in southeastern Wisconsin spotted strange lights in the evening sky. As many as five lights were seen zipping through the air. One of the witnesses, Kimberly, was driving home with her husband when they spotted what they thought was a swooping white owl. However, it quickly became clear that it wasn't a bird at all. Rather, it was a strange burst of white light. They admitted, though, that they had no idea what it could have been. Then around five miles west of where Kimberly spotted the lights, another witness by the name of Ken also saw the strange phenomenon. Ken was sitting in his Fredonia home when he spotted the lights zipping through the air. Here's another sighting from Kenavan Brocklin. The footage is taken from a moving car. Hmm. In the distance, you can see the lights moving from right to left. Now those look more like spotlights. Yeah. The occupants of the car are clearly at a loss to explain what's happening. What? Emergency services were on standby as residents called in to report the strange lights in the sky. However, as of writing this, there's been no official explanation as to what's been seen in the rural skies over Wisconsin. So for now, this will have to remain a genuine UFO sighting. You got me on. It's an, it's an unidentified flying object. So it's a UFO. 
Well, how do you even know it's a flying object? All you saw were lights. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of energy source. It could be. It could be. It could be millions upon millions of things. Okay. So, the third one when the person was driving, that kind of looked like spotlights. Oh. I've seen spotlights, especially in, in Florida. You know, big tourist area. They got spotlights, you know. And if it's cloudy day, you see those spotlights. Mm -hmm. And they move around, dance around. Mm -hmm. But the other ones... Those weren't spotlights. Especially when it's out in the country and there's not a lot of light. You would see the actual trail of light from a spotlight. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Got mm -hmm. I me... Mean I'm just trying to remember how I do it where everyone comments that I have no balls because I let you talk so much. So Will you of, just get on with the video? To figure out how to repeat that process. <sighs> Here's a quick yet eerie one sent to us by a viewer who goes by the username SpookyMum818. It's some home security footage captured on her friend's porch in Nevada. Okay. It's a little after 10 p.m. when a strange white shape zips quickly by the camera. Okay. Well, the friend was out of town at the time but reviewed the motion detection alert remotely from where they were. When they spotted the white shape, they're at a loss to explain just what I mean, it looks like a person. Yeah, it's just at first, but they thought it might have just been a bug. But when yeah. you slow it down, the sheer size of the object seems like to work this theory out. It's a person moving very fast. The homeowner said, to get to this porch area, you need to go up some stairs and through a gate. No one was seen entering or leaving the area. Hmm. They also noted that the home's in a very rural area of Nevada, home to the indigenous community of the Paiute. The Paiute tribe, indigenous to western United States, have a rich cultural heritage and spiritual beliefs that include a variety of paranormal and supernatural concepts. The Paiute people... What, what culture doesn't have a bunch of, like, spiritual... Oh, sorry. What, what, you know, what doesn't have a bunch of spiritual ones? I'm just saying. I mean, yeah. it's interesting, this one, I suppose, but uh, well, every single thing. culture has something about after death. I've got another thing, because he was like, oh, the only way you can get on this porch is through going up some stairs and a gate, and that's the only way. You think that's the only way they're going to get up on our porch? I'm sure they can just hop the freaking uh, banister. Yeah. I guess get a better camera up there. I don't know what to say. Yeah. I have a strong spiritual connection to the land, and they believe in the presence of spiritual entities and supernatural beings in the world around them. These entities are thought to have the power to influence the lives of people and the natural world. They also have the tradition of sharing ghost stories, which often involve the spirits of the dead returning to the world of the living. So could we be witnessing one of these spirits visiting the world of the living? Or is there another explanation for this strange white mass? Take another look mm -hmm. and make your own mind up. I'm still thinking of somebody that hopped the banister and was running from something. Yeah, he's going really fast. And the camera's not high quality, so it's yeah. blurred. Uh, uh. Sorry, I wish it was cooler. The magic the baby. Scratcher comes from the I like how he has all these what? lights. Yay. Be right back, okay? Okay, no, just... How? How? That has Somehow, to be edited. Right this baby's like, barrier. you know what? Fuck your gate, bitch. I'm walking right through this shit. That has to be edited. At first, I'm it sure it is. Like it might actually be possible, but when you look at the size of the baby's head, you can see there's no actual way that it could fit through. Squishing his so melon. What's going on here then? All sorts of wild and wonderful theories have been thrown around, like the baby's a ghost. Hey, give that walk, baby a bag. Of the baby's take it to the a bag. ghost. Listen! The most prominent theory is they that said the baby's a ghost. Baby's a ghost. No. Two take that baby to a bank. Two give it a bag. Images. Just show money in front of it. Go, go get this. Go get the money. On this morphing baby. CGI trickery. CGI trickery, motherfucker. Slap Two hand. overlaid videos. You were you were shaving your head too close, man. Too close. Before 
before we take a look at a freaky photo that was captured <laughs> in an old restaurant freaky in London. Photo. Remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon right there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. Mm. This creepy photo was shared to the Facebook page, Ghosts of London. Ross Cheeseman and his partner were out having dinner at an old restaurant in London when they decided to take a few snaps to remember the evening by. However, in one of the photos, something rather chilling appeared. Okay. In the top right corner, a grey transparent figure can be seen looming over the couple. No. It almost looks like it's moaning or wailing. Ross says he has no logical explanation for the bizarre figure. He admits that he rarely shows the photo to friends or family because it's just so creepy. Unfortunately, we don't have the name of the old restaurant, so we can't dig into the history of the property. So for now, this unsettling image will have to remain a complete mystery. Uh, I'm gonna pause it. Yeah, go for it. Go ahead. What were you gonna say? It's either fake or real. I don't. I don't have enough information. What? Okay. Saying London, <laughs> England is enough information. Oh, dear God. I mean, how long has that place been a country? Yes, Centuries yes. upon centuries. If there was a place that was going to be haunted, I would imagine London. Yeah, would that be would be it. I don't right. care what building it is, because at some point, some old building sat wherever the new building is. Yeah. That would be it. And they used to torture... Yeah. People in prison? Yeah. Why aren't there hot naked ghosts? Because <sighs> we always see ghosts in clothes and stuff. Why aren't they naked and hot? And like running around. Y'all, I just thing. can't. I can't deal with this one. I can't. Nope. I'm just saying. Nope. Why is it always some fuck ugly ghosts? Because they're dead. But yeah, but... Maybe, they Maybe were... they're still in their death state. Yeah, maybe they were hot when they died. No. It's Just get on with it. I don't. I don't even want to have this conversation. <laughs> All right. Well, I was just trying to make it interesting. Anyways, get her going. Yeah. Don't get me mad. I've already oh, had enough of the day. She's like the Hulk. All right, everybody. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. I always look back at her because, you know, this is us spending time together, you know. I film it, and if you like it, yay. If you do, yeah. All right. So, um, as I said, we'll be doing this every Sunday. We're we'll post on Monday these videos, the React videos. Yeah. Uh, so, if you do like this, if you do... You know, subscribe to us, maybe. Comment. Comment, yeah. comment about any fucking thing. Comment about your favorite song. Comment about anything. I don't care. I will reply. I don't care. Probably setting myself a failure on this one. I will reply. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, you said everything. Like, subscribe. Yeah. Still, hot naked ghosts. Where are they? Oh my god. Think about it. Think about it, people. Alright, we'll see you on the next. Bye, everybody. Bye.